The next stitch I'm going to show you in this video is called a back and forth stitch. This stitch is used as a time saver and is very similar to both the running stitch and the back stitch. You start off by tacking off your seam. Now watch what's going to happen. I'm going back and back to where I left off at the other stitch and then I'm going to go down forward and then through another eighth of an inch. So as you can see it's creating two little ripples there. I'm going to pull through and I've already made two and a half stitches. Let's repeat the process. You want to try to have these stitches as accurately placed as possible. It's a bit hard for me to do this with a camera in my face. <laughs> Another way of thinking about how we're making this stitch is to think of it as one back stitch and one running stitch. At full speed, after a succession of these stitches, you can see that it could be a big time saver. Let's take a look at what we have so far. We have a row of stitches that looks like a back stitch. Let's take a look at what's going on in the back. Whoa, it looks like a running stitch. Except if you look a little bit closer, the threads are doubled. That's because we're looping back every other stitch. This stitch is just about as strong as a back stitch is. At the end of your stitch, tack off like normal.